Reflect today. In what ways can I invest in meaningful relationships and connections with others rather than accumulating material goods? My dear friend, we have the Gospel of Luke chapter 12 verses 13 to 21 for our reflection today. Our first reading conveys the importance of unwavering faith in God's promises. It highlights the story of Abraham, who believed in God's promise of descendants even when it seemed impossible. The passage underlines that such faith is counted as righteousness and through Jesus' sacrifice, our faith in God's God brings us righteousness and reconciliation with Him. It stresses the power of faith in God's redemptive plan and the significance of Jesus' role in fulfilling that plan. A gospel serves as a powerful reminder about the dangers of greed and the pursuit of material wealth at the expense of spiritual and compassionate values. It encourages us to reflect on the impermanence of life and the importance of using our resources wisely and generously to help others. The rich man's focus on his own accumulation of wealth ultimately leads to his spiritual ruin. Thus, the message of this passage is to prioritize the treasures of the heart and meaningful relationships over earthly possessions as they endure far beyond this life. We are challenged to reflect on our own priorities and cultivate a balanced approach to wealth and possessions. It begins by examining our own attitude toward material wealth and considering how we can use our resources to benefit others and foster deeper relationships. Today, the Trinitarian Order celebrates the Feast of the Holy Redeemer. This devotion is closely associated with the redemptive work of the Trinitarian Order and the historical event of 1682 when Spanish Trinitarians ransomed and brought back from Morocco the statue of the Holy Redeemer together with 211 Christian captives. From the time of its ransom, this holy image has been greatly venerated and it still is in many parts of the Christian world. Let's remember all our brothers and sisters who experienced the consequences of persecution, war and violence. Reflect today, in what ways can I invest in meaningful relationships and connections with others rather than accumulating material goods. May the words of Jesus redeem us. Amen.